the malicious prosecution of African Americans coming through this court by two African American females in a predominantly African American community is appalling. It is absolutely disgraceful. Longtime community activist Mariah Crenshaw, alongside 33 year old Dominique Campbell, outside of East Cleveland City Hall today, urging the city remove charges like resisting arrest and improper backing made against Campbell. Crenshaw and Campbell alleged that six officers involved in an incident where Campbell says he was assaulted by police after he was pulled over at a traffic stop back on December 30th. I need your window down all the way, sir. That's when this video that Campbell filled on his cell phone of the entire encounter with police went viral. Campbell says he was driving eastbound down Euclid Avenue, filming footage of the city on his cell phone when officers pulled him over around 2.30 a.m. Today, he describes in detail how he says he was assaulted by officers. He punched me in a private part, um, laughing, punched me in my nose, uh, just continuously elbowing me in my face. Uh, I lose breath. I'm telling them that I cannot breathe. It's an officer covering my face. Like, why are you doing this, sir? The city's assistant law director argues Campbell placed himself in that position when he found himself on the wrong side of the law that morning. The time to have an issue with the police and what they are doing is not on the side of the road. Well, the East Cleveland Police Department has not placed any of the officers involved in this incident on leave or issued any disciplinary action. Both Campbell and the Chasing Justice Civil Rights Group are pushing for the removal of those six officers from the department. Russ and Christie. All right, Carmen Blackwell, appreciate the reporting. Thank you.